Hi, my name is Pop. I am making a video that shows how to use the grid component of Compiz so that you can move screens around. And I'm also going to show how to reassign the keys in case you do not have a 10 key on your keyboard. Grid is in Ubuntu Linux and when you uh, go to System, Preferences, Compiz, you can load Compiz. When you first do so, you may notice that you don't have Grid and you can't find it and that's frustrating and I'll show you why. You have to go to the Ubuntu Software Center and the Ubuntu Software Center when you type in Compiz will show a whole bunch of different files and there is one particular one that you have to add as a package and it's called Compiz Fusion Plugins Main and I've already got it loaded and you can see that I do because there is a green check mark next to it. So when I open up my Compiz I've already got Grid in it. When you open up Compiz you need to go to the bottom here where it says Window Management and here is Grid and I have a check mark in it that shows Grid is enabled and when you tap on it you'll see Grid. It says over here that it will warp and resize windows to fit an imaginary grid. I don't know what warp means, but it does resize the windows to fit on an imaginary grid with up to nine different windows on your screen. And the nine different windows correspond to your 10 key. I'm now going to open up uh, a picture of the keyboard layout and I'll make it full screen and you can see the 10 key. The 7 is the top left corner of the screen, 8 is the top half, 9 is the top right half, 1, 2, and 3 correspond to the bottom half of the screen, the 1 and 3 are the corners. Four could be used to, when you have two windows on screen to put one on the left and six is one on the right. Let me use this screen to move it around and I'll show you what it does. I'm going control alt seven and control alt six, control alt nine, control alt six, five, four, one, two, three. More than that, let me just stay on the three and hit it three times. Control Alt three, cycles among three sizes. That's two thirds, one third, and one half. When I hit two, it's the bottom half of the screen, but when I hit two again, it makes it smaller. One, one, one. Four, that's half a screen. Two thirds, one third. You get the idea, you can move things around very nicely. Now some screens don't lend themselves very well to being moved around, but others do. Uh, you can move your screens around at your convenience. What I'd like to do now is show you how to reassign the 10 keys in case you don't have a 10 key. The default is the 10 key. But if you've got a netbook, you don't have a 10 key. Put center is the first one and that is control alt 5. If you will visualize the 10 key, five's in the middle, it's in the very center. Put left is control alt four, and that's right here. Put right, control alt six. Put top, 
that's top center and the way they've arranged it here you can't easily see that it's a 10 key doesn't have to be a 10 key if you wanted to you could re reassign to use the keys uh, along the top the number keys uh, you could say one two three four whatever you want to do they don't care which ones you reassign them to the only problem is you don't want to reassign any of these keys to things that have already been used for something else I'm going to make a suggestion and it's just one suggestion it may not even be a good suggestion let's use the control key with your right thumb and let's keep this shape right here and we're going to say this is top left top center top right left center right bottom left bottom center bottom right now the way we reassign them is really really easy you just tap on this and it says what do you want to make it grab the key combination I'm gonna hit now control right bracket and it says control right bracket here but it doesn't yet say control right bracket here until I hit OK now I've got it and the four, I'm going to do control left bracket. OK. And the six, I'm going to get control, well, on my keyboard, it's not the same as, yeah, it is, yeah, it is. It's control backslash. OK. So what I've done is I have reassigned the center keys. Now I'm going to reassign the top keys, 7, 8, and 9. So the 8 key is going to be the same thing as control. On my keyboard it says uh, the plus sign with the equal sign under it. OK and then seven grab key combination and on my keyboard that's going to be the minus sign control minus OK and let's see nine I want to get and nine is going to be control backspace OK. You may have some software that interferes with these key combinations and you'd have to use something else. I won't bother doing all of them. Heck, I am lazy. Now I'm going to move the screens around using these reassignments. So Control minus. Yeah, that works. Control equal. Yeah, that works. Control backspace. Yeah, that works. And I don't even have to think about it because these things are located right where I want them to be located. In, I, I, it's just automatic. It's psychologically automatic. Uh, control, top left, top center, top right left center right and then I haven't done these bottom left bottom center bottom right well that's all I got oh I wanted to show you in case you make a mistake there's a little broom picture right here it's an icon of a broom I was not able to enlarge it entirely well and uh, but if you want to go back to the default settings, you tap the broom.
and now I'm back to default unless I forgot one and that's all there is to it I have a whole bunch of videos that I have made most of them are about YouTube Ubuntu some of them are tutorials and I enjoy making them very much my name is Pop and I thank you and I hope you enjoy